I want to share with you a method of binding that my husband's grandmother shared with me many years ago. And what she taught me has worked really nice for me over all these years. This binding is going to be one and three quarter inch width. So what I like to do is I take a one and three quarter inch strip. Your traditional binding is two and a half inch strips. I'm taking one and three quarters and I'm gonna sew it around the edge of my quilt, just like this. Another edge. Let me do one corner with you. So I will sew it straight. I stop quarter inch away from the edge right here, okay? I like to crease it so that way I measure here to here, one quarter inch. I can see it as I'm stitching. I'm gonna come up here, stop back stitch, and then I'm gonna fold my binding around the edge to match the opposite side right here. And I'm gonna start sewing from the top and sew straight down. That's how it would go all the way around the quilt. When I come up to the beginning of the binding, I'm gonna stop and use my ruler, this one right here, and Kimberly has in the books and in another video, great full direction how to use this ruler. I hope you go and enjoy that. Another way, of connecting the beginning and the end of the binding is you can simply overlap it. And I use this technique sometimes when I use a batik fabric for my binding. Batiks don't have a salvage edge. Notice it on this piece. I can pull it. There is no salvage edge. It's just a finish edge of fabric. Salvage edge, you find it on a printed fabric. So you have this white, so you can use this technique on it. I use it with batiks and I just overlap it. But let's move on into rolling our binding around the edges and finishing things up. So once I have sewn my binding, I'm gonna fold it now to the seam. Look what I'm doing. I'm folding exactly to the seam. And I will go around it all the way and you can finger press it or you can take an iron and press it down. And I would go all the way around and now the next fold would be around the edge of my quilt. Look at this, just like that, around the edge of my quilt, and I will fold it down and start hemming. And thank you, Kimberly. How am I, how am I gonna do all of the other things now without your help? I'm gonna have to go home and ask my husband to help me. Well, you're gonna see some major fun quilts. Now notice this corner. I'm gonna come up to the corner, I'm gonna hem it, and I'm gonna fold this just like that to get a really cute corner right here. It makes a difference when you do a single binding or double binding. When you do the double two and a half inch, it's just a little bit more bulk. And grandma always taught me the less bulk in a seam allowance, the thinner, the most wonderful binding you get. You still get the double protection around the edge of your binding, but you don't have as much bulk in the corners as well on the sides of your binding. So I hope you try it. There's so many fun techniques that you can incorporate to your quilting experiences.